Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Marlos. I'm Gerard, and today's episode, we're going to talk about the top five must-have accessories for a cigar aficionado. But before I begin, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes on Mondays with Margo. All right, so the first accessory that we're going to talk about in no order of any rating whatsoever is this list. I see that at every single episode, but we're going to talk about the perfect draw. This little tool right here or accessory is a must have. It retails around $30 and I think it's well worth it due to the quality of the material that's being used. This is made here locally in Irvine, California by a dentist and I'm going to go out on a limb here, but I'm going to say the material on this bad boy is pretty much medical grade because this guy's a dentist. And when you feel how sharp these little tiny edges are on this little sphere right here looking thing, um, this thing pokes through any cigar perfectly. Um, so with Cuban cigars, uh, notoriously being plugged, one of the ways you can you know, ease the draw is by using this perfect draw right here. And also you can dry box Cuban cigars. So if you want to know about dry boxing, Google it. And we do have an episode that speaks about that previously. So the perfect draw, again, it is $30 and uh, may sound like it's a lot of money for just a little tiny rod, but this thing, the material, the grade, I bet you it's probably medical grade product because the guy is a dentist and it, is always sharp no matter how many times I have one of these personally myself no matter how many times I've used it it always stays sharp and uh, I think it's a very good buy so if you have a cigar that's plugged and you're not sure what to do with it and you don't want to use like a skewer or you want something that you can actually keep in your um, humidor or in your carry-on bag Whatever it is that you keep your cigars with the perfect draw is a great great little accessory so look for these we do have them so let us know if you want one. All right, right along with the same brand, Perfect Draw has the perfect repaired little tiny bottle. Looks like nail polish, but what it is, it is um, cigar glue, basically what they call it, or a sealer. And this little tiny bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and open it so you guys can see what it looks like. And what it is for any cigar that has any little tiny crack in it, or if the cigar wrapper is coming unraveled, and you want to save that cigar, the perfect repair is a perfect little tiny bottle that you just want to shake it. It has a couple little tiny BBs in there, so when you shake it, you can actually hear it. And when you stop hearing it, that means the whole thing is mixed up and the base and the other mixture solution is actually combining and it's not separating anymore. And it has like a little tiny brush at the end of it. And you can go ahead and just brush a very thin layer of the glue on your cigar. This is basically the same material that we use whenever we wrap cigars or whenever we're making cigars in the factory. So look for the perfect repair. This is something that you should definitely have. Um, but be careful not to store it in something really cold because it does get hardened on the inside of this bottle. So therefore keep it at room temperature. All right, accessory number three. I'm going to talk about my favorite cutter. This is actually my personal cutter, and this is the Calibri SV cutter. Now, why do I like this cutter? I love the bulkiness of it. It feels very manly, and it is a V-cut. I love V-cuts, and the difference between this V-cut and many other V-cuts on the market is this one is a nice, deep V-cut. I haven't measured the exact millimeter depth of it, but I assure you I've tried many different V-cuts, and this one cuts the deepest. And it's fantastic. I love V cuts. Now, the other cool thing about the SV cut is that it also has a guillotine cut in the backside of the V cut. And this one has, I believe, a depth of like only three millimeters. So, therefore, if you do put your cigar in there, it does not chop off too much off the cap of the cigar, making a very good, nice, clean um, guillotine cut. And it is double sided, the blade on the guillotine. And it also gives me a V cut, which I just love this thing. And also it does have a little pass through right here. So therefore, if you want to cut your lens here a little deeper, um, you can go ahead and do that. So it's just universally, this is one of the best cutters I think out there for $75. Um, I don't care if it's DuPont or whatever it is. To me, this is my favorite cutter. You look for it, you gotta have this thing. 
All right, so for accessory number four, it kind of goes hand in hand, but I'm gonna do a switcheroo, and I'm gonna talk about a torch lighter. Uh, the reason why I think a torch lighter is vital to have is because soft flame lighters can not light a cigar when it comes to windy conditions. Now, I'm not talking about in a tornado or anything like a cyclone, but I'm just talking about like, you know, you're at the golf course, you're at the beach, there's a little bit of gust of wind, a soft flame lighter is going to be flopping around in the wind and it's not going to be able to light your cigar. So therefore, I like the torch lighter because it's a torch and it spears at the end of the flame and therefore you can actually aim at the cigar and you can go ahead and light it. Um, would it be a single flame, double flame, or triple flame? You can go all the way up to quadra flame torches, but this Paleo right here is a great torch, has a very big reservoir. We do have it on modelcigars.com, and I think they retail something like eight or nine dollars. So I think I just got the eight dollar sign. Is that right? Yes, so eight dollars, it is a triple torch flame. Um, also it has a nice dial at the bottom, so therefore you can adjust the height of the flame and it's murdered out pretty cool black but the reservoir is like a see-through black so therefore you can see the level of your butane and it holds a lot of butane for nine dollars it's one of the best lighters out there so look for it and i'm going to go right into accessory number five because this goes hand in hand with the lighter this is the zycar high performance butane out of all the butanes that i have tried and i've tried so many over the last 25 years being in the business this has been the best performing butane that I've ever, ever used. Um, it's highly, highly um, refined, very good stuff. It is a little expensive. It's $10 a bottle. But again, for the um, extending the life of my lighter, I think it's very well worth it. And I'm going to give you guys a tip. Before you light, excuse me, before you fill any butane lighter reservoir, you need to bleed it out of all the pressure that is inside of it because every time we insert this little guy inside the reservoir not only are you introducing new gas but you're introducing more pressure so you want to release all the pressure that you can out of an empty um, torch lighter therefore that will extend the life of your lighter so that is it for this week thank you very much for watching in the comments let me know what you think of this video i'll see you guys next week but before i get going remember to all follow us on instagram like us on facebook and remember to tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Peace out.